So hi there, Astro Lovers. In this video, I'm going to share with you my attempt to capture the famous pillars of creation. Yes, that is the famous Hubble picture that moved billions of people across the globe. Well, I don't have NASA's budget and I definitely don't have a telescope in space, but nevertheless, I thought it would be fun to show you what kind of pictures amateur astrophotographers can make from their backyard with a telescope and a camera. So let's go. So how does my backyard telescope and camera compare to the Hubble Space Telescope that was launched into space over 30 years ago in 1990? The Hubble Space Telescope has a primary mirror of 2.4 meters or 94.5 inches, whereas my backyard telescope has a primary mirror of about 20 centimeters or 8 inches. So that's 12 times smaller than Hubble. This means that Hubble is able to resolve objects in space that are over 12 times smaller as compared to my backyard telescope. Scientists used Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3 to capture the pillars of creation in 2014. This camera has a resolution of 4096 by 4096 pixels with an image scale of about 0.06 arc seconds per pixel. The camera I use is the ZWO ASI 1600 Mono Pro, which has a resolution of about 4656 by 3520 pixels, but my image scale is about 0.55 arc seconds per pixel. In non-technical terms, this means that my telescope and camera will create a photo of that region of space that is about 14 times wider and at least 12 times less detailed than the picture created by the Hubble Space Telescope. As I'm on Earth and not in space, I have to deal with atmospheric turbulence, clouds and light pollution that will further reduce the quality of my backyard pictures. So you see, I'm already trying to lower your expectations a bit. Where can you find the pillars of creation in the night sky? The Pillars of Creation are located at the heart of the much larger Eagle Nebula, about 7000 light years away in the constellation Serpent. The Eagle Nebula is part of our Milky Way galaxy. If you want to see the Milky Way, just go to a dark location without any light pollution when the moon is below the horizon. The Eagle Nebula is actually one of the brightest nebulas. It is so bright that you can see it with the naked eye. Just don't expect to see those pillars of creation. The Eagle Nebula will be visible as a tiny faint smudge as part of the huge Milky Way arc in the night sky. To get a detailed image of the Eagle Nebula with its pillars of creation, you need to take long exposure pictures of the night sky. For my attempt, I used a 5 minute exposure time for each photo of the Eagle Nebula. As all objects are moving in the night sky, I used my Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount and the guide scope to keep the Eagle Nebula in the exact same position while taking these long exposure pictures. As I'm imaging from my backyard in the city center of Utrecht, the Netherlands, I will have to deal with a lot of light pollution. Lucky for me, Hubble used specific narrowband filters in front of its camera sensor to create that picture of the pillars of creation. The goldish brown colors correspond with ionized hydrogen and the blue corresponds with ionized oxygen molecules that are abundantly present within the Eagle Nebula. I will use similar narrowband filters to capture those same elements in the nebula and I will give them the same colors. This technique is actually called creating a Hubble palette picture in the astrophotography community. The nice bonus of using narrowband filters is that I will be able to block out most of the light pollution from my city center. So hi guys, I think it's time for the big reveal. Let me know if you like the picture or not. Obviously it's not going to be Hubble-like quality, 
But let me know what you think. Here we go.